Welcome to Norway, a land known for its stunning fjords, the mesmerizing northern lights, and a history rich with Viking lore. But there's more to this country than meets the eye. Today, we're diving into the five weirdest things about Norway that make it fascinatingly unique. 1. Russ Imagine marking the end of your high school journey not with a simple ceremony, but with an entire month dedicated to freedom, friendship, and a bit of controlled chaos. This is Russfaring in Norway, a tradition where graduating high school students celebrate their upcoming final exams and the end of 13 years of schooling. Each year, from late April until May 17th, Norway's National Day, students embark on a celebration like no other. Dressed in red or blue overalls, representing their study focus, these students, known as Russ, take to the streets, parks, and various public places in customized buses and cars, blaring music and celebrating their youth. But Russfaring is two tunnels. In Norway, the landscape is as breathtaking as it is challenging with its vast mountains, deep fjords, and rugged terrain. It's a land that demanded innovative solutions for connectivity, leading to the creation of an extensive network of tunnels that carve through its formidable geography. These tunnels are not just passageways. They are feats of engineering, designed to bring people closer in a country where nature has dictated separation. Among them stands the Lerdal Tunnel, the world's longest road tunnel, stretching an impressive 24.5 kilometers. It's a marvel that showcases Norway's commitment to overcoming its geographical challenges, featuring massive caves illuminated to break the monotony for drivers and simulate daylight, enhancing safety and driving comfort. Beyond the Lerdal Tunnel, Norway's dedication to tunneling has resulted in over a thousand tunnels, each with its own story and significance. These tunnels connect remote communities, facilitate commerce, and promote tourism by making Norway's natural wonders more accessible. They represent a unique aspect of Norwegian life, where the journey through a tunnel can lead from a snowy landscape to a verdant valley in minutes. This network of tunnels, while a testament to human ingenuity, also speaks to the Norwegian spirit of resilience and adaptability. In embracing their challenging terrain, Norwegians have not only engineered a solution but have woven these tunnels into the fabric of their national identity, making them one of the weirdest yet most fascinating aspects of living in or visiting Norway. 3. The Origin of the Slicer and Brown Cheese In the realm of kitchen gadgets, Few items tell a cultural story quite like the Norwegian cheese slicer, or Osthovel. This simple yet ingenious tool was invented in 1925 by Thor Bjorklund, a carpenter from Lillehammer, frustrated by the difficulty of achieving thin, even slices of cheese with a knife. Drawing inspiration from his woodworking tools, Bjorklund crafted the first cheese slicer, transforming the way cheese was consumed not just in Norway, but around the world. The slicer's design, with its sharp, angled blade and flat surface, allows for precise control, producing perfect slices of cheese every time. It's particularly suited to Norwegian brown cheese, or brunost, a sweet, caramelized cheese that's a staple in Norwegian diets. The cheese slicer's significance extends beyond its functionality. It represents the Norwegian penchant for simplicity, efficiency, and innovation in everyday life. This tool has not only become a ubiquitous presence in Scandinavian kitchens, but has also found its way into homes across the globe, symbolizing the universal appeal of Norwegian design. The Osthovel stands as a testament to Norway's contribution to culinary tools, making the act of slicing cheese a moment to appreciate the blend of tradition and innovation that characterizes much of Norwegian culture. 4. The Northern Light and the Midnight Sun In Norway's far north, 
the dance between light and darkness creates two of nature's most spectacular displays, the midnight sun and the northern lights, each a mirror to the other across the seasons. During the summer months, the midnight sun bathes the landscape in a surreal, continuous daylight, where the sun hovers at the horizon but never fully sets. This phenomenon transforms night into day, allowing for a plethora of activities under a golden glow that lasts for weeks on end. Imagine playing golf or running marathons at midnight, the sun providing an everlasting twilight that energizes and inspires. It's a time when the concept of night loses its meaning, replaced by an extended dust that stretches into infinity. Conversely, the winter months usher in the magical northern lights, or aurora borealis, a stark contrast to the summer's endless light. The polar night, a period when the sun remains below the horizon, creates the perfect backdrop for the northern lights to reveal their mesmerizing colors. Streams of green, purple, and pink light dance across the star-filled sky, turning the dark landscape into a canvas of ethereal beauty. This natural light show draws visitors from around the world, eager to witness the auroras swirl above snowy peaks and frozen fjords. The northern lights are not just a visual spectacle, they're a reminder of our planet's wonders, inspiring awe and a deep connection to the natural world. Together, the midnight sun and the northern lights encapsulate the extremes of Norway's natural beauty offering experiences that range from the invigorating brightness of an endless day to the mystical allure of a luminous night. These phenomena highlight the country's unique position within the Arctic Circle, inviting explorers to immerse themselves in the rhythms of nature at its most dramatic. Whether basking in the never-ending light of summer or marveling at the celestial ballet of the winter sky, Visitors to Norway are treated to a vivid reminder of the Earth's beauty and the extraordinary experiences it offers. 5. Their love for slow TV Norway's cultural tapestry is woven with many unique threads, among which, slow TV stands out for its distinctiveness and tranquil appeal. This broadcasting phenomenon, originating in Norway, turns the conventional pace of television on its head by offering real-time coverage of seemingly mundane events and activities. Slow TV can range from a serene seven-hour train journey through Norway's picturesque landscapes to an epic 12-hour marathon of knitting, where every stitch and pearl is captured. This genre of television is a testament to the Norwegian appreciation for simplicity, patience, and the intrinsic beauty of everyday life. What makes slow TV particularly fascinating is its ability to transform ordinary activities into a form of meditative entertainment. Viewers are invited to slow down and immerse themselves in the moment, finding relaxation and perhaps even a sense of companionship in these prolonged broadcasts. The concept first gained international attention in 2009 with the broadcast of Bergen's Bain in Minute for Minute, a seven-hour train journey from Bergen to Oslo, which allowed viewers to experience the journey from the comfort of their own homes. Since then, Slow TV has covered a wide range of activities, including a live salmon fishing expedition, a traditional Norwegian coastal voyage, and even the construction of a digital fireplace. This unusual fascination with slow TV speaks volumes about the Norwegian ethos. It reflects a society that values the depth of experience over the speed of consumption, one that finds wonder in the subtleties of life that others might overlook. Slow TV has not only captivated a domestic audience but has also garnered a global following, intrigued by its novelty and the peaceful respite it offers from the fast-paced nature of modern media. In embracing the slow and steady, Norway has contributed a unique cultural phenomenon to the global media landscape, inviting the world to pause, watch, and wonder.